What's up, everybody, and welcome to the Steel of Sanctuary podcast. I'm your host, Dave Rivero from steelofsanctuary.com, and this is my co-host, David Cora. What's going on, Dave? What's up, guys? All right, we got some news to start off this uh, podcast before we get into that shit sh- storm of a game we had the other night. Uh, DeMonte Casey sp- suspended three games for some kind of substance abuse, something or other. Uh, I don't think we've found out exactly what it is or anything, but I mean, probably never will, but. You're not cheating, you're not gonna... trying. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I guess he gets to serve it while he's hurt, so it's pretty much a wash. I mean, I don't even know what the point of suspending the guy if, if he's on the IR and whatever. He's probably like, really? You had to announce this? Like, really? Yeah. But... I'm assuming it's some kind of PED, but we, we won't know. We won't speculate. Um, all right, that's about it for the news of the week. Uh, let's get to this game. Browns win 29-17. Uh, I don't know. Where do you want to start? Defense? Offense? Um, They're bullshit shows this week. Uh, let's fuck it. Just go straight to the offense. Uh, All right, let's do it. Dude, Trubisky, again, just – would not would not throw the middle of the field. I don't know if it's schematic for Canada or him. I don't. I just don't get it. Uh, his, some of his throws were wild. I I just I, the the guy just it's one or two reads again. Did you see like like the incredible catch by Pickens? But did you see that Claypool on that play was in the middle of the field? Like, I saw the still shot of it, yeah. No one near him. It's like I just oh my god, like what what is going on here? And I, you know, I just the guy's just he he's just not he's just not it. He's not it. Like yeah, like you said, now. you said like his 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 IQ, right? Is is QB IQ or NFL football IQ, IQ yeah. So, yeah, it's it's not there. He does he's not Ben. No, no, and we got so. I think everybody realized now how fucking spoiled we really were, because now we're like, bro, you don't do a lot of the things that we were so accustomed to with Ben. I mean, do you remember Ben? Like the pump fakes, he pumped fake like one, two times just to draw those guys out of their coverage in their assignments. Just, I mean, there's so many intangibles with Ben that was incredible to watch. That now you have this and you're just like okay you don't do any of the things that that we're accustomed to i mean he started out good in the first half right uh they were rolling him out he had a couple of good push the ball down the field uh and then i don't know what happened that last drive at the end of the half and the whole second half was just yeah the they're doing, yeah they're doing the rollouts they even did some design qb runs with him right you're we're like okay you're like, all right, okay, this is this is what you should have been doing two games ago, but cool. Um, and you know, you're like, all right, and then the run game started going. You're like, dude, okay, like this is, and then it just died. It absolutely fucking died. And you're just like, wow. So obviously, Cleveland made adjustments. Yes. And as soon as they made the adjustments, the Steelers were cooked. The offense was cooked. Yeah, because that's it. Canada only has. Correct. 12 or 13 plays in his playbook. So once you run them and they know, and it, you saw a couple different wrinkles, but it's, it's still the same old shit. They still struggle on third down. I think they were one for nine on third down. They, it's so frustrating. Like I, I texted it. I mean, tweeted it at, during the game. This is the most frustrating Steelers team I've watched in 40 years of watching the Steelers. It's just without TJ Watt in there, the defense is average at best and very frustrating. The offense, I, I I'd rather watch Doc Hodges play at this point. Right. It's just because bad Duck, all the way around. Duck let it fly. Like, Duck was – I mean, you know, like, don't get me wrong. We Duck is who he is. Hodges, Duck Hodges is what he is. But at the same time, my man, he he was fearless. He let that thing – Yeah. he'd fling that thing. He didn't give he a shit. He made some mistakes, and right, I guess that's what Tomlin doesn't want. But Well, as soon as defenses realized they got a blitz hard with, with him, he was done. Like that was when he that was when he was at his worst when they blitz. They realized they bring the pressure. He's done. And um, but but here with this with Trubisky, like it's everything. It's not getting rid of the ball when you're about to take a sack. It's it's 
you know, it's not having more than one to two reads. It's not throwing to the middle of the field. There's just, there's just so many different things that he doesn't do. The constant checkdowns, like it, it's just, it's incredible. The, the last play before the half, they're supposed to throw in hail mary, and he checks it down to Najee. I'm, yep. I almost jumped through my TV. I'm like, what are you doing? What yep. is going on here? It's just, oh, it's it's maddening at this point. That whole I'm, drive I'm was. That whole shit drive show. was just pathetic. It was pathetic. Exactly. It was a shit show. It was just like, what is this? Do you guys realistically think that you, like, at least try, and I know it's hard because of the wind, they already had one this field goal, but at least try to get close enough for the field goal, give him another shot, because yeah. it's Boz. Boz is a good kicker. He mm-hmm. knows now he had to aim a little more left than he did last time. So get close enough at least to give him a shot. And it was just like, you know, dump offs and, you know, back to the, curl routes on fucking seven yards or the button hooks or whatever the fuck you want to call it. That's what we went to. It was like, okay, dude, like I, I just, just I, I don't, I don't know. Um, his I, his I, teammates didn't do him many favors either. I mean, no um, yeah. DJ dropping passes. He, he had, he led the team with 84 yards receiving, but he was awful. This is his worst game I've ever seen yeah, him play. I think it was, he was bad. And, and see, that's what this team does. It's like, it's always somebody's turn. Yeah. To be I said it last week. shit. Oh, I, when they, do, I, when I, they lose, it's like a comedy of errors just start adding up and adding up. Yeah, and, and you're it, wondering, how, is this team well coached? We know Tom one, was a great coach, but are they? I, I don't understand why they make these dumb mistakes. One, it's contagious. It seems like it yeah. seems like it's contagious. One, it just snowballs, and you're just like, what in the hell? Um, but yeah, I, I just. You know, I did that segment earlier today, and I mean, you can really watch that if you want to see like how in depth yeah. about the problems with Trubisky. And but like, there are things we saw Kenny Pickett do in the preseason that Trubisky can't do. Yes, and that's an, that's one of the main reasons why I think they need to give him a shot. But we'll but we'll get to that probably down the road. Um, I thought Najee and Warren looked pretty good. I thought they did a lot better. Pretty good in the first half, but then in the second half, the running game, I guess because they fell behind a little bit too, but right. I, I mean, halftime because I had, I had told you Najee was going to go over 100, and he was at like, what did I say, like 56 at halftime. He was. He, he like was. 59 and yards or something, or he had 49 and he ended up with 56. That's, I was, I was kind of, I was kind of pissed off that, uh, I know Warren had the fumble at the end. That's getting concerning too. That's two and, now. Well, I was pissed though that, that Tomlin benched him the rest of the second game. The second half, I'm sorry. I was kind of pissed about that because I just thought he brings a, another a yeah, he level. It, it, that he, he is, he's truly a number two back. Yeah. It, it, it's it's different with him out there. He it, and when he didn't put him out there the whole second half, I thought that was detrimental to the offense. I really did. Like I like when you change it to him, I, that to me it has the defensive approach to him. It has to be different than with Najee, and that that's what you was- want. That shovel pass was awesome. What a oh. run on that play. If it wasn't for – and they showed a still of Chooks. I don't think he was he was yeah. really downfield. I you think saw, that was a bad call. You saw, yeah, you saw so that I'm not too. even going to knock Chooks for that. It, it, this, that was just a great play. It was actually a good play call, one of the rare ones from Canada. It actually worked and worked great. And, but it was kind of a killer, too, when they call that penalty. That The Steelers that, were rolling at that point. That was a weird one, and uh, it's fourth and five. It's a five-yard penalty, but it's not a – first down on yeah i didn't realize that last night until today yeah weird right yeah i (sighs) i don't the 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 refs were interesting to say the least but um but no i thought Najee and warren minus the the fumble of course and uh i I thought they did really good they both blew up a guy did you you see the one where he Najee flipped the guy clear over yeah and and warren just straight blasted a dude coming down the middle warren's that's warren's game he's doing it once a game now um, yeah, Najee missed a blitz that got yes. um that got um Trubisky nailed that, that's, at one point. Yep, that's the one where Daniels and him both missed it. They didn't. Yep. Neither one of them picked it up. No. So yep. still, there's still little things I have down in my notes. There is a silver lining, if there is a silver lining, I should say. The offensive line hasn't been as bad as I thought it was going to be, and I think that's no. universal. Everyone thinks the same thing. It's been, I don't want to say good. It's been passable. You know, uh, their, their, their pass blocking is excellent. Yeah. And the run blocking seems to get better every game. I mean, 
they kept telling us be patient with this line, be patient with this line. I guess they were right. It's starting to pay off a little bit. So that just even brings you back again. What's going on with this offense? Why is right. Mitch Trubisky got happy feet and and not looking to his reads? And why is Matt Canada calling these shitty games where that it's so predictable? Right. And, It'd be one thing if he was running for his life back there, but yeah. he's not. He's not. Like he's not. I, I just. <sighs> It was such, you know, the first half was so like, there was so much um, optimism because like we said, design runs, rolling out. He was making plays downfield and then it just disappeared. And I guess I don't want to keep going around in circles, but it's just, it's the limited playbook. The yeah. teams get used to it. They pick up on it and there's no counter to that. And they Once make they their know, adjustments and yeah, you're done. And then you're done. And we can't yeah. go forward with this. Maybe we should do a separate Canada thing after we go over the offense, but you did a great piece on, I said what I said on YouTube, go check it out. If you haven't seen it yet, Matt Canada is not an NFL offensive coordinator. It's clear. Now we thought it was Ben last year. It's the same things that happened with Mitch. I know they're not going to make a move. I know they're not going to make a move, but God, they have to. Why doesn't Tomlin see this? Why can't he see this? He was emphatic in the old pre- post-game press conference. No change is going to be made. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? What did he say? Affirmatively no or something yeah, like that? Uh, emphatically no or something. Yeah, it was just like definitively no. I think that's, that's what, what it was. It's like, and what I was, are you watching? And I'm just like, but he did say he's got to go watch vid- watch film. So I mean, I'm hoping he, he, he was goes standing on the sideline for fuck's sake. I and mean, he's just like, oh, okay, that's bad. Uh, oh, like that's not good. And why I mean, do you call this? this. Or why do you call that? Like, yeah. bro, the the thing that was driving me fucking nuts. Like, of course we want them to throw the ball down the field, right? Like, we want you to throw the ball down the field, but do it on first or second down when you need the eight plus yards, not on third and five, third and four. Like, bro. Those are no manageable. Man. Those are manageable yes. third downs to get a first. Like, don't set up for long bombs. Like, what are you doing? Like, it, it made no sense. And then the fucking screens, dude. The screens, whenever they need to get more. Like, I just, uh, it, it was just like, dude, it's what totally are you? Coached. The no imagination. You, it's back to, it's back to like situational play calls. Like his situational play calls on third down are horrendous and it's it's i just don't get it like did you think you're gonna catch them sleeping when you got dj against their best corner running the fly route did you really think that was gonna accomplish anything on third oh we're gonna get them no their best corner is gonna stick with him and, and not yeah. you know it, it's, it, it just it just didn't make sense it's like yes i get it we've been complaining about throwing throwing it down the field but we want you to be smart about it. Like do it on the right situational situations, not fucking third and four, third and five. Like I, I just, I don't know. None of it makes sense. Like you said, whatever was going on in the beginning of the game to the half just absolutely got wiped out the second half. And, and I don't point, know if anybody ever adjusts on anything with this no, team. I, I don't but, know. I, anyways, on, defense or, on defense or on offense. I don't think either one of them adjusts. No, that's what I meant. But go ahead. Yeah. Um, I heard a, I was listening to a podcast one time, Mike Lombardi. I don't know if you've ever heard his podcast, but he was kind of close with Belichick. He, and I'll never forget, he said the Patriots spend the majority of their training camp and preseason on third and short, fourth and short, and key short downs. That's all they work on because it's the most important plays of the game. They have a, a bunch of plays in their playbook to deal with third and short and third and goal and fourth and short and fourth and goal. It seems like the Steelers don't even practice it. You, you got third and five, you're throwing bombs down the field or you're running the ball to Najee. It's, it's just like, there's nothing. They don't look prepared. They don't look ready. It's we talked about the, the, the coordinators a little bit last week. <sighs> they got to be the worst two coordinators or one of the, a couple of the worst coordinators in, in the league. Austin, again, no adjustments. The Browns are running at will. We'll, we'll, I'll save the defense. We're going to skip to the defense later. But 
it's just I'm so frustrated with the whole thing. I can't. Yeah. I don't know if I can watch much more of it at this point. No, I no, I get what you're saying. Uh, yeah, like it just seems like the Steelers at halftime they had zero adjustments, zero. And where's the targets um, of Fryermuth? How was Fryermuth not targeted till late in the fourth quarter? I don't know. Like I couldn't believe it. Like I was just like, like now we wait. Now we're throwing it to Fryermuth. And how about this? Down the fucking middle. Down the middle. You're like after what? You wait till minutes, it's too minutes fucking of late to start doing this, dude. We've been watching another thing. Think about when Pickett was with them in the preseason when he was putting that ball on the spot down the middle for Frymuth or whoever to snag it. Do you remember that? Mm-hmm. I remember yeah, him putting it down I the do. fucking middle. Oh, like I just – I couldn't believe it. I was just like – because the whole game, I'm like, Frymuth, they haven't completed one yeah. pass to him yet. Not one. It's almost comical. He's your best, like, end zone threat. He's your best, um, like, a third and short threat. And he's perfect. I'd argue for he's got. I'd argue he's got the best hands on the yeah. on the fucking team. And you know, uh, it's just, which is crazy because I mean, like, see what Pickens did, and to see what DJ's done. But fucking Frymuth's got amazing hands. Yeah. Like he's made some crazy catches since they drafted him. So like, I mean, uh, how you don't utilize that, I'll never know. They did say he was chipping on um, Miles Garrett and try, helping a little bit, so I can see a little uh, bit of that, but not to, okay. to target him at all. That's that's extreme. There's one stat that I, I, I came up with last night. And I tweeted, I don't know if you saw it, but this, this, is, this sums up this team. The, their last six fourth quarter drives, five of them have been three and out. Yeah. They're absolutely pathetic in the fourth quarter. It, it's just, you can't do that and win. You cannot go three and out. Your defense is tired. They've been behind both times, the Patriots, and now this week gets the Browns. And they're going three and out every drive in the fourth quarter. What? And Tomlin doesn't want to make a change. This is good no. enough. No, this is good enough. <laughs> it's it's arrogance, dude. It, it's it is. It, there's, yeah, it's I agree. arrogance. I 100% they don't. Agree. They don't want to admit to being wrong, and they never do. I think he would rather have a losing season than than ever admit that he was wrong. Honestly, like I, I just well, he's going to get his wish because it's going to happen oh, this year, dude. It's they're cooked. I see. My thing is, is I'm waiting for. Art to come and be like, hey man, yeah, you're gonna don't wait. Shit's got to change. You know, it is I, I, well, here's the thing. I'm, all right, fine. I'm praying that yeah. Art walks down that fucking hall and walks into his fucking office and goes, "Bro, we got to talk." Like, no, that's not his personality. Shit. No way. Ugh. This offense is averaging 15.6 points a game after three games. 15.6. But Tomlin says, "I don't want any. I'm not doing any changes, dude." You're going to be two and seven by the time you realize you need change. It's going to be too late. What is the point of keeping Mitch Trubisky in here? He's not the future. He's not playing well. <laughs> What's the point in sticking with him? Yeah, Try I guess, something I, different. This is just a joke. I'm not being serious. But uh, as a Pirate fan, have you heard of the word tanking? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just throwing it out there. Like I, At this point, I'm just like, Oh, Tomlin using that brain. No, get that high they're draft in, pick. <laughs> they're incapable I, of tanking because, yeah, they're in, they're incapable of it. They're incapable I, of it because yeah, you know, yeah. I, I, the time to tank was when Ben got hurt, and you were zero and two, and you had a chance at a top ten, top five pick, and instead you trade your first round pick for a safety to fix the defense, and then you go, what did they go, eight nine? Um, I think eight and seven, eight, eight seven and one. That yeah, they ended up with a winning record. That was the year to tank. Yeah, Ben's out. You're on two. No, they they went eight and eight. Yeah, yeah, they're not that smart. You're giving them too much credit. Oh, I just like I said, just trying to find a reason. <sighs> it, it just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Uh, like, could you imagine? Like now, I'm I'm starting to get down crazy crazy train here. I'm just <laughs> I'm just gonna stop. I, I now now my wheels are spinning like well that that quarterback class next year is supposed to be pretty good like well, hmm. that's a hypothetical but, we could talk about a little bit if the season goes off the rails and their top ten pick do you I guess it depends on how much Kenny Pickett plays and how well he played during the season but if you wait to week ten week eleven week twelve you might not know then you're hey, screwed hey they 
They draft another one, and it's him and Kenny. What is that saying? Two dogs, one bone, Tomlin likes to say. I would hey, bet dude. my mortgage, my house, my life that they won't draft a quarterback if they're in the top yeah. 10. They well, stick with Kenny. I, I would, I'd rather them draft an O-line, but that's just me. Yeah, um, or a, a lockdown corner at this point because – Witherspoon ain't that guy. We'll get to the defense in a minute, but but uh, but yeah, no. But anyway, we're getting really off topic here. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, no. Um, when it came to the O line, like uh, like the only thing I had down, like if I you want to nitpick, was Dotson's false start. Um, yeah. like you mentioned, like you mentioned, Truk's legal man downfield, but really doesn't look like it was really. No, it was a bad was call actually. Yeah, we, we already good. said Daniels that missed on that sack. I mean, Najee missed. Daniels um, is but, playing well. The last couple yeah. of games, Daniels has been playing well. Yeah, he's been fine. Um, That's a good he's sign. Speaking. He's he's speaking. We're good. He's speaking. He told, um, he told us he yep. would. Hey, hey he's doing a man was good to his word. Uh, <laughs> but uh, Moore Moore did really good against Garrett. Yeah, Garrett I never thought, does well against Pittsburgh. You notice no, that he never does well. Not really. I, I I I know he blew more up one time, but he never actually got to the quarterback. He just bull rushing. Yeah, it's going to happen. I mean, yeah, he's one of the I mean, best defensive linemen in the league. Whatever. So. He still didn't do shit. So. Yep. Um, but yeah, no, just, um, as far as the offense goes, it was still anemic. Basically. I mean, the first half was, was way better in the second half. They just died, but there's too many screens in my opinion, not enough plays down the middle, not enough to move, uh, basically everything that we just said, like just. Yeah. You can turn on a loop <laughs> and just play it every week. The same thing. Just yep. Record. Well, I, I was happy repeat. to see, I was happy to see more plays down the field. It's just that some of them were situationally horrible to, to do. Yeah. I like the movement. They moved um, Mitchell around a lot. That's good. That's we talked about it on the last pod. That's what you need to do with him. He's not yes. a pocket quarterback. He's, he's a guy that likes to get outside the pocket and, and make stuff happen with his feet, run around a little bit. So, but, but we're, we are one and two against, and our losses are to two teams that they could have, they should have been. I mean, really. Mm-hmm. So they're in trouble, but all right, I'm done with offense. You want to move on to defense? Yeah, let's flip over the defense. Let's do it. And um, this is a little better, but not much. I mean, they couldn't. The, the big story here is without TJ Watt in this, the, in this lineup, this defense is average at best. Yes. And we, we talked about it before the season started. He was one of the few guys they just could not afford to lose. And with him out, I mean, when was the last time you heard Kim Hayward's name even called? He hasn't done no. anything couple tackles that's really it nothing else um and now the secondary is getting exposed now because it's too much time with a spoon bro, looks like they were getting i don't even know who that was bullied off the line that like when too? they did that when they did that sky view over yeah. top of them and you saw where the ball was at and you saw how far back they went on third and short fourth and short you're just like geez like it was a gimme any third yeah. and short was a gimme and that's why they kept going for on fourth the browns were like you ain't yeah. stopping us. No. So yeah. they kept going for it. That one time, um, he almost got six yards on the quarter. He did get six yards on the quarterback sneak. He almost broke yep. it. Um, yeah, he almost broke it. it was, yeah, no, I'm <laughs> on a quarterback it's sneak. Ugh. Pathetic, dude. Like they, their O line was getting out and well, mauling people. Yeah, in like, fairness, they do it to everybody. I mean, the Browns they, offensive line is the dude, best, maybe the best of football. Running there, was, there was one where I saw Bush, and he was about to pursue the runner, and he disappeared. Like, he disappeared <laughs> off the screen. And you're like, where did he go? And you see him, you're like, oh, my God, that offensive lineman grabbed him and just pushed him, clear the fuck out of the way, like nothing. Gobbled him right up. You're like, Okay. Like, yeah. you know, there was just – it just seemed like the D-line was getting pushed way back. It was hard for Bush and Jack to to do anything. Yeah. Bush like, had a nice stick yeah. at one point. What did he, he did. Get, he yeah. played okay. I mean, no, he had that one nice move. Yeah, I know, I know the play you're talking about. It was yeah. good. Like, yep. don't get me wrong. Like, it wasn't that Bush was horrible, and that's not what I'm trying to indicate here. I'm just saying, like, the way their O-line played against yeah, our it's, defense, it's a- they were – they were dominating them at times. And it was just like, Jesus, like, especially the second half, dude. Yeah. By the second half, that defense was done. They yeah, were they gassed. Were they were but I knew we were in trouble. The minute uh, Amari Cooper was just wide open all the time, and they kept leaving Witherspoon out on an island with him, yep. I was like, mismatch. I was like, we're in trouble. And then when they were lining him, it was him. Ooh, yeah, he got lined up on Edmonds, 
in the in the red zone i'm like why did that happen like what are we doing here and Edmonds got cooked twice twice and it was just like this is what it goes back to tj not being there and these guys are getting exposed yeah the quarterbacks have too much time to to survey the field and guys that are uh you know so so good but not great with that kind of time that they're just done and Edmonds. it's amazing because when tj's out there High Smith doesn't have to deal with all that. So he gets more pressure, more sacks, and then it allows to hide the, the warts of the team, yep. which is the secondary. Yep. And as soon as he's out, it's over. Now High Smith's going to have more trouble. Third, Cam's going to have more yep. trouble. Cam's going to have know. trouble. Reed couldn't get, yeah, all of them guys across the board. Ogunjobi, now Ogunjobi had one, did he have a sack or? He had a no. tackle for a loss there. That one was real nice. I think he had a tackle for a loss. I think the only it was in the beginning. Highsmith. Oh, maybe did he have the half sack? Because they gave that's the one. one and a half. That's yeah. the one. Yeah, yeah, him and High Smith together. Yeah. So I mean, like, but towards the second half, dude, it was it was it was over. Because then Witherspoon got hurt. Oh, but before he got hurt, it was more deeper into the game when he got hurt. I think in the yeah, second it was half. Deeper. Yeah. But he that's was getting cooked. This is where I'm pissed about the defense, and they they saw you couldn't leave him on an island with Amari Cooper. And they never adjusted to give him over the top help. They never did it. It was completely one on one. It was man with him. It was like, what are you doing? Like, you, clearly he can't cover him one on one. No, he was no, blowing was by. Him. Oh, and it was a like complete mismatch. Can you get Minka over there or, or something? Like, please give him more help over there. And they didn't. They didn't do it. Did you see the Browns head coach at halftime? Uh, the, the girl asked him. A question about what do you think about your offense and this and that. He's like, oh, I have a good idea what the Steelers are doing. We just got to execute a little better and we'll be fine. Like he knows, like a lot of teams do. They they, they know what the Steelers are going to call on defense. They just know it and they're not concerned about it in the least. And especially when TJ Watt's not there. Because so then, then obviously, like, so then obviously they just know the Steelers are not going to change. They don't make any adjustments. They know they don't. Yeah, they don't. They come out in the first quarter and see what the Steelers are doing, and then they they say, all right, we know what to do now. It's it's this is it. How is that not embarrassing, Tom? The teams are just like we know what they're doing. We're just you know we're good. Like I saw Tomlin at the end of the game. Did you see him chewing somebody out on on no. the headset? Like he looked visibly pissed off. He was talking to somebody on the headset. Of course, we won't know who it was. But was the offense or the defense out there? I want to say the defense was out there, and he oh. was just losing it. Uh, not like losing it, but you could see he was very animated. Like he was mad. Listen, might have been, must have been losing it on Terrell Austin then maybe. on Flores and somebody. I don't know. It's, I mean, they only gave up 23 points. I know the final score was 29, but that last touchdown was for shit. They didn't play completely terrible. It was a close game for most of the game. It's the same thing as the Patriots game. They kept it close enough where if the offense played halfway decent, they probably could have won this game. But it's Bro, just, they lost to Jacoby Brissett. Brissett. He looked like Tom Brady out there. He was yeah, throwing ball. It was like, again, like he knew what he was, he knew what to expect. He knew where to go to the ball and with the ball immediately. Yeah. And it was just like, it was crazy. It was crazy how good he played. Mika Fitzpatrick, quiet. Yeah. I was thinking same thing. Called one, one time. He had um, that one tackle that basically saved the touchdown. Yes. Um, he, the guy tried to hop um, over him, but he hit his knee and yeah. the guy fell down. Um, how about Najoku just cooking Sutton, Jack, Bush, yeah. whoever was Where did he him? come from, too? Najoku they said he had, just, what, he had one completion going into that game. Right. <laughs> like six. Out of nowhere. Ugh. Very – uh do I want to say Patriot-esque for somebody who's not been playing that much or well all of a sudden yeah. becomes like the, the star of the freaking game and they're constantly feeding him. Like that's what it kind of felt like, dude. Like it was just – you just, can see what happens. They're so preoccupied trying to stop the run, getting their asses yep. handed to them in the run game, that everything else starts to fall apart. Yep. And, and look, the, the Browns probably just watched the Patriots game film and, and was just like, okay, we can throw deep on these guys. We can do we can we can set up that pass for the run and grind them down to where they're tired and, and they're done. Yep. Especially with that running game. Forget it. Yep. And right. So and it worked. Like I think personally, they took a hell of a chance with Brissett back here. But to Brissett's credit, he he fucking did really well. Like he, he was on. Well. He played very And well. when he was playing like that, yeah, the Steelers were in trouble. And that was, and then finally they got the lead, 
and then by the time they got to the second half, the Steelers defense was just cooked, tired, drained, done. So just keep grinding those yards out running. And they they were they were it, it was over. But yeah, Malik I just not answer, dude. Malik Reed is he's terrible. He can't he can't play against the run. He gets no pass rush whatsoever. Delonte Scott, invisible. Let's let's get this new guy Anini up here and see what he can do because these other two guys are just yeah. Do you, you know Jones, what I really? You don't know what I really can't stand though when it comes to our defense. I hate when it's like third and four, third and five, and they play that soft zone, and the guy just catches it underneath You're and just takes one, cooked. just takes one step forward and yeah. first down. Yeah. And they do it all the damn time. Like I, I hate it, and. It was killing them last night because they would let them catch it. They'd either get the first down or it'd be fourth and inches, fourth and one. Yeah. And uh, Stefan Asky, I don't want to murder his name, but uh, Stephansky, he'd have them. Yeah. yeah, he would. He'd have them go for it, course, and they couldn't stop. Anything inside a yard like, or two was is automatic. And and it was just like Jesus, please quit playing this soft zone. They're killing you with this shit. But we talked about nope. that in the beginning of season two, right? You have two options: you be the blitz. To make up the pressure, or you play soft zone, and and they seem risk adverse. You know, they don't want to take any chances on offense or on defense. They want to play safe all the time. So you know, they're doing screens and checkdowns, and playing soft zone on the other side, just trying to keep the game close and trying to win it in the fourth quarter. But you can't get the offense going in the fourth quarter, so it's fucking useless. Take some chances, make some plays, do something. Yep. Yeah, and I just I don't know. It's just – it's amazing to me how much that defense has changed since Watt went out. He, no, he's uh, everything. He's everything because everything falls in line after him. Everyone's so preoccupied with TJ that Highsmith plays better and Cam Haywood plays better and the quarterback doesn't have time, so the secondary looks so much better. Was, was Mullet out there at all? Um, you know, again, I don't, I don't think the uh, Browns do a lot of three wide receivers, so that's, that's probably the best Steelers version of the Steelers defense is that dime or nickel packages that they come up and two weeks in a row they play teams that just run the ball and don't give them a chance to play it play tight ends and big packages and don't you're not going to see Millette when that's happening um we'll have to look a little closer at the Jets next week to see what they play but if they're not complete fucking morons they'll do the same thing that the Browns and the Patriots did I mean the, the blueprint's there yeah, yeah I just anything else? I I I know we're we don't want to we got we'll talk about this down the road but I don't. I don't feel like they're. I don't have any confidence them winning any games from here on out. Well, let's get into it, man. I mean, this schedule. I said it last week, and I wrote it down again. I mean, it's fucking brutal, man. You get yeah, the Jets. I, if they lose that game, cancel Christmas. It's over. Right. They, I, they I might don't not win another game all season. I then I don't go, see them winning another game. I I right now I don't see them winning a game for the next like seven weeks. I'll I tell you what. Christ. Actually, actually, I take that back. I think when Watt comes back, they've got a shot. Now, mind you, <laughs> on defense, <laughs> they got a yeah, shot. Yeah, yeah. On offense, if they – I I don't know. I, I, maybe Matt Canada finds new plays or something. I, I, don't, I don't even know what to say with that. If they get out, figure out some things, then, then maybe they got a chance to have some upsets. Maybe. And, and look, this is – a hard I mean, maybe. Like we I, don't I don't even know how. We don't even know when TJ is going to be back. It has to be at least did, did four you, games. Did you see him warming yeah, up? Yeah, yeah. I just hope he doesn't come back too quick and hurt himself Dude, again. When he was going like this with his arms and everything, I was like, "Bro, take yeah. it easy. Let's take it easy." Like, <laughs> that's what I'm worried about because like, he's an like, animal. So, you know, so I'm just yeah. like, huh? That seems like he's he it he must have I don't know he must have thought he like like he said I tore my pec he must have heard something it. and maybe yeah. it wasn't as bad as he thought it was. And I'm hoping because they need him. What week? What, so what week can he come back? Week five. So he got hurt in what? The first game, right? Yeah, yeah. the first so game. Misses, so so misses four games, right? Four games. So two, three, four, five. He can come back week six. Oh fuck! So Ugh. he get he misses the Jets, Bills, Buccaneers, and Dolphins, right? Oh. No, wait a minute. No, wait a minute. He'll be back for the uh, Dolphins. Eagles. <laughs> The Browns game was one. Yeah. One game missed. So I thought the Eagles were in there somewhere. The Eagles are after that. Let's let's go over the schedule real quick. At Bills, 
Uh, Jets first, then at Bills, Buccaneers, at Dolphins, at Eagles. Christ. Mm. Bye. Saints at, <laughs> Saints at home. Bengals at home. That's it's it's how many games uh, we talked about this last week. Let's take talk about it again. How many of those are wins? Jets, hopefully. And what Dude, Saints, maybe? They, the and fucking then, Jets and Joe Flacco put up 31 points against the Browns. I know. We scraped and clawed for I 17. I know. I is it at uh, Jets is home, home game, right? Jets is home, yeah. I guess we shouldn't I shouldn't assume anything's a win, but they they no, yeah. No, I don't look. I have been a, like a roller coaster with these fucking record predictions. I've been eight and nine. Then holy shit, maybe they go ten and seven. And now I'm 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 at a point where I'm like maybe three and fucking you know fourteen. Or I'm sorry, three and uh yeah, three and fourteen at this point because I don't know how many they're gonna win. Like I, I really, I just don't see it anymore. Let's give them a win against the Jets. That will make them two and two. Bills is lost. That's two and three. Buccaneers, I think that's a loss. Tom Brady. Yeah, they're again absolutely two and four. annihilated. Two and four. At Miami, two and five. And I'm on at- your side this time now because remember last time I had them beat Miami. <laughs> yeah, I know. Now but Miami's good. You no, know, Miami's at Eagles, good. two and six. Two and six going into the bye. Oh. Saints at home, that's a toss up. TJ's it- back by then. They probably win that game. Well, it depends on which Winston shows up. Yeah. And, and is the Thomas. Thomas healthy. If Thomas yeah. is healthy and Winston, the good Winston shows up. Eh, yeah, exactly. Know. And then hope you would think the Bengals would have their shit straightened out by that time, but who, who knows? I mean, who saw them losing to Dallas? I mean, holy crap. Right. So yeah, they could be, like I said, two and six going into the bye, and then three and seven after this run. And you I don't it, know, man. You have to be honest with yourself if you're Mike Tomlin. You have to be honest with yourself and take an honest look at this and say, we're not going to do well in the stretch. Why are we starting Mitch when he's not even going to be here next year? Kenny Pickett's the future. Let's go. Let's yep. find out what he's got. You're Get wasting him time. Get him that experience right now. I uh, see me. I, Your precious I, I'd rather... losing seasons is over. It's gone. Yeah, Give it's it up. Gone. Put Kenny in. And, but it, but it could be argued your best chances with Kenny now. That's, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's the right best now. Part. Like yeah, I, you're I right. just you're right. But in his mind, again, they're so conservative. Let's stick with the veteran. Let's stay the course. Blah 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 blah. I I just I can see it. And we talked about it. Mitch would play just good enough to keep himself in there. He hasn't even done that yet. But maybe he give, has a decent game against the Jets, and that buys him three more weeks. It's just a waste of time at this point. What are you doing? You know, and, and to me, you know, I. I look at like, you know, history, like look what happened with Ben. Max got hurt. Ben came in and changed that whole outlook on that season. They had a yep. losing record the season before yep. Ben came in there, ended up being, and I'm not saying that Kenny's going to be Ben. I'm just saying, you don't know until you, you put him out there to see yep. if someone's good enough, someone's good enough that they, they should be good enough to win ball games. I'm sorry. That's it's just, that's just me. And yeah, I agree. I agree. And, and this is and this is 2022. We don't do this shit where yeah. they wait a year, two years, or whatever. Uh, we don't do that shit, man. If I draft you in the first fucking round, you're starting. Yes. Yeah. Because Harry, because that's fine. because that's the strategy nowadays. Before you got to pay that quarterback big money, you hope you point. hit. You that's hope you point. hit on your pick. You hit on your pick of that quarterback. And you use that money to pump it into all the other positions, just like Tomlin talked about. Before they get that big payday, that's your window. That so is if your you've window. Got, so if you've Absolutely. got this stout defense, you've got already got young, great offensive players surrounding your, your quarterback. So you drafted them, put them out there and go. Like, you might have something here that you're – Hendering because you're too worried about it having a veteran out there, like I, I, you know, that's like finding the shittiest backup quarterback you can find and going, Oh, he's a veteran, I gotta start him. No, if he stinks, he stinks, and Trubisky stinks. I mean, tell me I'm wrong. Tell me, no, you're not wrong. And like I said a few minutes ago, if you're being honest with yourself, Kenny Pickett's your only chance to turn this thing around. We've seen Mitch, Mitch is Mitch. 
It's and, you know what, and I forgot to mention this on the. I said what I said. I am a West Virginia fan. My second team is Penn State. I married into a Penn State family. <laughs> I am not this pit homer. I am strictly looking at what I see with my own eyes. Common sense. It's it's. It, and Pickett's the guy. Like. I saw him in the preseason make passes, make throws that I do not see Trubisky doing. It, it's as simple as that. Yep. Yep. He looked so comfortable. He went through his progressions. Oh. He third and fourth read hitting him. It's it's a totally different guy. He's he's much more, he's much better suited for Matt Canada's offense because he, you know he's he excels at the short passing game. He's good. He, he's he's a, a a thoughtful quarterback. He's not just this athlete running around he'll run the offense I, I don't know why Canada doesn't run him out there himself because that's his only hope to save his job now I know it's, like, it's the only hope like if I'm Canada I wonder if they, I'm beating the they table battle each other. I wonder if Canada and Tomlin battle each other on this I would be willing to bet money that they do at this point I just I, I I don't I just don't get it. maybe maybe Pickett's not the guy but let's find out because yes. you're gonna be, you're gonna have a top twenty pick minimum, maybe even a top ten pick after this year. Yes. Find out now. Yep. Find out now. Well, which, but that brings you to my point. If they suck with both, high, you got a high, uh, high quarterback class, right? It's supposed to be a lot supposed better. To be yep. Class. But, uh, Alabama kids really good. And there's a couple other right. ones. Yep. There's about six of them. I've even seen some say there's a top ten that could possibly be decent quarterbacks in the NFL. So, I, I just. It just and none of it makes sense. It's just it, all it, it comes back to arrogance. They don't want to admit they're wrong, and that, that's it. Period. Yep. That's it. All right, we went over the offense and the defense. The coaching had some strange, strange things too. I mean, Mike Tomlin kicking the fifty-something yard field goal into the wind. Let's just uh, coaching malpractice. What are you doing? I know Boz is good. It's early in the game. He's just completely paranoid of this. He's completely afraid of this offense not being able to convert third and fourth downs he wanted no part of it nope so kick a a, a low you know percentage uh, field goal instead 50 yarder in that wind in that wind and then give the the browns great field position after that yep the time and we thing, were and we were on their 45 right yep like come on man like give so, it a so shot so they get the ball at midfield basically because it, it's where the ball is kicked not where the line of scrimmages so right. they get the ball inside steals territory after that i, I just <sighs> The timeout things, dude, it's I, – I text – I tweet it every week. The Steelers hate timeouts. They burn timeouts <laughs> for no fucking reason. Yep. They tried to get the Browns to jump offside, and instead of having to play ready when the clock ran down, they just called timeout. But no big deal. So they've, they always, the they've always had issues with timeouts. It's always but, – there's always issues. The one, it's, the one play in the second half was like a circus. They ran – Tyson Alawalu on the field. He didn't want oh. it. So he had to try to run back. They had to call a timeout on that. It's like, it's a clown show. That was, co- that was so costly when that when they did that. And I, they had no timeouts at the end of the game. No, none. You know, so they couldn't stop the clock. So the game's over. It's just, that's coaching, man. That's attention to detail. That, that's not never been Tomlin's strength. And, and, it's, and it continues nice. to hurt him. Oh, yeah. But, um, yeah. No, I, they're just... If I, I I just think it's the definition of insanity. Doing the same thing over again and think and expecting a different result. Yep. D- arrogance and insanity. Somebody and tweeted it today. They they were the worst rush defense last year, and after three games of the worst rush defense again. So it's what are we talking about here? 20 games now of proof that the whatever scheme, whatever thing they're yep. trying isn't working. And I don't see too much different. Like I said, this has been going on now since 2020, where they were doing the short passes. The sh- everything was short. Everything was schematically east this to west. Is Canada, right? This is Canada. This is Canada. Canada. So, mm-hmm. I, I until they change, it's over. They're gonna have uh, the Steelers' worst record they have ever had. Is it? Is it five? They only had it, the worst they've ever had was what five wins? It was like five and whatever the schedule was back in yeah, the day. Yeah, I guess in the modern era, I don't know how – if back they were pretty bad back in the day in the 60s and yeah. 50s. I don't, I don't know what 
but since I'm trying the to remember. 70s, I think it was five, five. There wins. was something where they've never had less than five wins or six wins or something like that. It was something like they've never had less than five or six wins. Well, they, this is the year a... where they oh. might, they <laughs> might break their record. Like I, if shit don't change, they may break their record. Now, instantly when TJ gets back, I yes, put them become, back in there. Yes, I put them back at the half and half, you know, 500 or – well, I'm still going to say under 500. But, um, yeah, so we'll see. But the Second half of the like, season, too. I mean, they, 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 all these games I've mentioned, it's no, they have the Ravens twice in the last eight games, so that's going to be rough. Right. I'm scrolling through it now. They got the Colts and Falcons. There's a couple wins, yeah. hopefully. They got the Panthers. That could be a win. They got the Raiders on Christmas Eve. And they finish up the season with the Ravens and Browns. So it's it gets a little easier in the second half, but the hole might be too deep by then. Yep. You uh, want to make picks? Let's do picks, man. Let's do something to cheer ourselves up. Although <laughs> yeah, it's depressing. our picks haven't been all that great either. Last week, hey. I went eight and seven. David, you went four and 11. Hey, hey, hey why you got to bring up old shit? Why we got to bring up? <laughs> we got to let That's the people like... know. We got to let the people know. Oh, here we go. We got to let them know. So for the season, I'm four and sixteen, and you're nine and twenty-one. You got to pick it up here, brother. This is uh, this is your time to shine. Let's go. Yeah. All right. Well, you started out good. You're one and zero. You picked the Browns. I'm zero and one. I picked the Steelers. So you're off to a good start. All right. Patriots at home, getting three from the Ravens. Yeah, I I, I pick Ravens. They won't be able to stop Lamar. I happen to agree with you with that. Even though the Patriots are at home, I still think the Ravens win that game pretty comfortable. Dolphins at home getting five and a half from the Bills. This is the game of the week. Bills. This is a good game. Bills cover. Like, have you watched them? <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm going to keep picking the Bills till they prove me wrong. Right. I, I think the Dolphins will give them a tough test, but I still think the, the Bills win. Jets at home getting six from the Bengals. What's going on in Cincinnati? What? I don't, I don't think it's the Cowboys, bro. I, I don't even understand. I dude, With they a backup quarterback. Uh, their de- their defense was horrid. Their offense Honestly. isn't clicking either. It's it's right. Like, Burrow just seems off. It's really weird. Um, I'm still thinking of Bengals. Uh, well, yeah, <laughs> even with the six too. points, I, I, they're gonna click sooner or later. So. Yeah, it has to happen sooner or later, right? Vikings at home giving six to the Lions. Boy, that Lions pick was my pick of the <laughs> pick of the week last week. I can't good. believe you got that one. I was like, you fucking shitting me. <laughs> but yeah, well, no, I, I was mad, man. I saw some of the picks you were getting. I was like, get the fuck out of here. But yeah, no, I'm, I'm taking Minnesota. Uh, I'm taking Minnesota too. I like the Vikings. I don't know what the hell happened to them last Monday night. They didn't play well at all. But... All right. Bears at home getting the giving three. Three point favorites to the Texans. Yeah, no, I, I believe it. I'll take Bears. Mm-hmm. I want to take the Texans. I want to really? Take the Texas. Yeah. It's in Chicago? I, yeah, it's in Chicago. I don't trust the Bears. I, I don't, they I don't beat like the team. 49ers in Chicago, bro. Yeah, but we talked about that. That was a freaking hurricane. That was. Well, I'm aberration. saying they're probably going to play in another hurricane. That's what I'm saying. That's possible. That's their only hope, I think. Um, Colts, probably the worst team in football. Getting oh. six. Only six against the Chiefs at home. Did they even write that? That's crazy. Oh, uh, yeah. That's double, that's Dude, digits, that's, right? that's, that's easy. Easy money. Uh, I said that about the Bengals against the Cowboys too, and that wasn't. But I, I can't see the Chiefs not scoring to forty on the Colts. Yeah, right? they're, they're gonna, yeah, they're gonna smoke I, um, them. I, that's that's a crazy line. Titans getting two at home against the Raiders. The Raiders, man, that was a bad loss to the Cardinals. Yeah, I, I I'm taking the Raiders. I don't feel comfortable about it though. <laughs> yeah, I'm going with the Titans at home. I'll take the points and. I don't know. That team, there's something off about that team. Panthers, I can't figure out. Getting two and a half at home against the Saints. I don't know. I don't know what to pick here. I took no, the I, Panther, Panthers at home. Trying to find it here. Jesus, where's that? There it is. Yeah, I, I took the Saints. Did you? Okay. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that's a coin, co- I, I, coin toss. I mean, I don't know who's going to win that. There's just something wrong with the Panthers. Like It's like they just yeah, – they're, they're another team. They're just, just – I don't know what it is. Probably their coordinator, too. <clears throat> Could be. <laughs> Commanders at home getting six and a half from the Eagles. The Eagles are a good football oh, team. Oh, Eagles, dude. Good football team. My yeah. God. Eagles big. 
Seahawks, I guess it's a pick them. It's, on the site I use, it, it didn't have a line. The Falcons. Uh, when Infants. I had this, it had uh, yeah, it had Seattle minus two. Is this some quarterback so, hurt or something in this game? Who's which one? I don't know because it had a zero. Like it, there was no line. Like somebody was hurt. They were waiting. Uh, to my knowledge, Gino's not uh, hurt. Yeah, and, and I don't and think the, I don't think yeah, uh, Mariota's hurt, is he? All right, so we'll go minus two. I'm still taking the Seahawks at home. The Falcons are. Uh, I actually am taking Atlanta. Take Atlanta going on the road, huh? All right. Look, with my record, I have nothing to lose. <laughs> uh, Buccaneers at home, giving one to the Packers. Uh, I'm going Buccaneers. I'm going to take the Packers. R- really? They have nobody. You know what? I You're probably got, right. It's a, you know, it's a, I'm not even going to – look, you've been more right than I have. Whatever. It's a uh, Cardinals at home getting three and a half from the Rams. Boy, they saved their season with that comeback last week. Yeah, they did. They were circling the drain and yeah. they pulled it out. I'm taking the Rams. Uh, yeah, definitely Rams. <laughs> All right. Broncos getting one and a half at home from the 49ers. That's kind of an odd one, too. I'm rolling with my Niners. Me too. Jimmy G, baby. Jimmy Four G. stars and all. Let's go. Yeah, he's doing it. Smiling. Did you see the um, press conference? I guess he's got incentives. Every time he wins a game, he gets three hundred fifty grand. <laughs> yeah, fucking outrageous! Nice. Hey, dude, you know how much? Ear to ear, bro. The amount of money, the amount of championships he has when he didn't do fucking anything. Yeah, exactly. He's got two cool. rings just for being on the Patriots. Smartest man in America. We talked about oh, that last week. Millions, <laughs> like. Uh, the injury screwed up his plans. He was just going to sit on the bench and collect paychecks. Right. Now he has to, <laughs> has to earn it now. He's probably pissed. <sighs> All right, Monday Night Football. I don't like this game. Giants and Cowboys. I can't stand when they play those two. Giants getting one at home. Yeah, what the, the heck? I'm taking Cowboys. Yeah, I don't know. Look, uh, can he do it two weeks in a row? On the road? Rush made a believer out of me, baby. Let's uh, go. Okay. okay. Uh, Look, I'm, I'm, probably, I'm probably dead wrong, but yeah, hey, you know, whatever. <laughs> I'm not a believer. I don't buy it. All right. That wraps it up for today. Um, you got anything else before we wrap this thing? No, just God, I'd love to hear some news. Some, some major changes happen, but I, I'm not going to get my hopes up. <laughs> yeah. Um, we got 10 days to think about it, but I don't know, man. Mike T's got the whole weekend, bro. Study that film. Yeah. Just watch Figure that film. Till you puke. It won't take long. Something. It's ugh. Yeah, so that's that's it. I'm just – I would like to hope that, that maybe something happens by Monday. Maybe mo- – or no, his press conference, Tuesday. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe Tuesday. I, we, I think it's Tuesdays at 12, so. Don't expect miracles, I'm telling you. Yeah. It's going to be Mitch and, the, Mitch and the boys again. I know. All right, you can find me on Twitter at SteelerSang16. Follow the, the YouTube channel, Steeler Sanctuary. Dave just put up another – I said what I said. It's really good. I heard this morning, this afternoon, actually. Very good. Um, email us at D-A-V-A-R at SteelerSanctuary.com. We'd really like to hear your feedback. Dave, you want to give me your Twitter? Yep, M underscore Corb. All right, until uh, we'll probably come back. God, when are we going to come back? Monday? Something Tuesday? like that. Monday. Yeah. Probably, I'm sorry, not Monday. Probably uh, Sunday, maybe? I don't know. You want to do one Sunday night, maybe? Yeah, review maybe. some of the games. See just if stick, any news. Yeah, just stick to what we've been doing. All right, cool. Until then, thanks and good night.